All right, so uh, some of you might be working on sites that aren't covered by the Van Maps data, and um, I know that Nicole showed this in one of her tutorials, but I just wanted to emphasize it again, which is that you can get an elevation profile from um, Google Earth, and that can help you build out your site section. So um, Alejandro had pointed out that Pacific Spirit Park isn't covered by Van Maps, and so I just wanted to uh, demonstrate how you can cut an elevation profile. I wasn't able to do this on the spot, but I just looked it up later and this is how you do it. So I'm just going to navigate to um, a site on Pacific Spirit Park. And I don't know exactly where Alejandro's site is, but I'm just gonna choose a portion of the site that I would like to cut through. Um, so I have a practice line here, which I cut earlier. I'm just going to turn that off. Basically, when you have your site, um, and you can see the whole site that you're working on covered within the view that you're looking at, then you can draw a line. So again, I don't know exactly where Alejandro's site is, but let's say it's somewhere in here. And I'm gonna go up, uh, first I'm gonna go to my tools and go to options and make sure that I'm in meters and kilometers. If I'm in feet and miles, that's not gonna be very helpful when I want to bring this in and, and um, scale it in my Rhino file because our Rhino file is in meters. So just make sure meters is checked off. And then I'm gonna use this tool here to draw a path between two points. So I, I am going to just assume that there is a path that starts here and maybe it transects over here and somewhere in here is Alejandro's site. I'm gonna call this Pacific Spirit Transect and hit OK. And then it shows up here into my places and I'm gonna right click on this and go show elevation profile. And now it brings us into this axonometric 3D view and we can see how the elevation is changing across the site. So here I would assume that's where there's a waterway, um, maybe a secondary waterway or a, a path, and up here is the high point. So we also get this uh, meters profile along the bottom. So this is about 800 meters wide and 128 meters is the highest elevation. Well, how do we use this in Rhino? Well, we can just take a screenshot. So I'm gonna use um, my screenshotting tool to make sure I capture this entire thing and save it as an elevation profile. And then I'm gonna to go to Rhino and I have a new file open. If you're already working in a site plan file, you can always just drag and drop it in there, but I'm just gonna first make sure that my units are set to meters. And then I'm going to drag and drop my file into Rhino and bring it in as a picture. I can select anywhere, but I'm just gonna start at zero comma zero and um, lift it up like that. I'll go into my top view and now we can use a scale um, that we have here, 799 meters, to scale this entire profile. We want to make sure that our units across and up going up are the same. Uh, so we need to find a common measurement. I see here that this is this should be 105 meters. And if I look at that distance compared to this distance, then I think it might hit uh, relatively in the right spot, but I'm just gonna draw a line and double check. So if I draw a line using L for line and start it at zero and draw it up to 105, or actually 103, because that's where the marker is, um, I'm just going to change my line color to something that we can see. Okay, so this should be 103 meters. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use that as a reference and scale my entire drawing. So I'll use SC for scale start at the uh, end point here and use this as the first reference and then type in 103. I'm using zoom extents and now I should be able to measure to this point and get 75 meters. So let me see if I use a DI command, which is a distance command and I go to here, I'm getting 102 meters. So that means that this elevation profile 
is uh, compressed in one direction. So now we need to scale it only in one dimension. And I'm gonna do that by using a command called scale1d. First, I'm gonna draw a reference line from the zero point to 75. And then I'm going to select the image and use SCA. And then if I go down, I can see the scale1d command here. So hit enter. And I'm gonna use this as my base point, the zero point, this uh, end of this line as my first reference point. And then I want this to be 75 meters. So I'm gonna type in 75, enter. And now we should have a properly scaled elevation profile. So you can see it's gotten compressed in the X direction to create a properly scaled site plan. Now Alejandro's site might not need all of this contextual information. This is a, almost a kilometer of information, but now what you could do is start a new layer and call it a site section. And I will just select another color here to use. And now we can trace over top of this elevation profile and we should have a pretty accurate site section of the profile on site. So I'm gonna just use um, the interpolate curves command and start it here. All right, so we have our section cut line in Rhino and that's great, but um, we're probably gonna wanna relate it to a site plan so that we can continue drawing in some site elements in both plan and section. Um, I'm gonna just take a screenshot from Google Earth because I don't know how to export a drawing so that it also has this line that I've cut across it. So I'm just gonna use my, um, my um, screenshot app to take a screenshot here. And then I'm going to drag that in to my Rhino file. I'm going to scale it just uh, bring it in at zero, zero and just uh, scale it anywhere. And I'm just going to use this white reference line, which is the cut line as a reference to match up with the section. So what I need is a